So first part to cabling. Get your everything plugged in at the desk here first. So we've got to have two mics for this exam. Uh, vocal and a DI box. So you're basically looking for channels one and two. Which of course now I won't be able to find because I am on camera. So that's channel one, which is going to be the vocal in the exam. I'm just looking for channel two here, which is probably that guy. So channel two, which is going to be our DI box, and that's going to need phantom power because it's an active DI. Over here, the easiest way to find these cables is you're looking for the ones with the kind of pink tape around them, because that's your A1, A2 for auxiliary one and auxiliary two. L and R for your main left and right. So L goes into out 15 for your main left. You can see it's written underneath it. R goes into out 16. And A1 goes to output one for monitor one. And that's pretty much everything up here. The mic will be plugged in. The headphones will be plugged in for talk back and all that. So that's that done. Over to the snake and you're pretty much connecting your female master right to the main R here and you're connecting your female master left to the main left we're only using one monitor so you don't need monitor two you're just using monitor one and that's going to auxiliary one here on the other side of these cables, you have your male, master left, master right, and monitor one. Master left goes into input A on the crossover. Master right goes into input B on the crossover. And your monitor one goes directly into your monitor amp, which you can tell it's that one because it says mons on it. So it just goes into A, and that's pretty much your snake connected to the crossover. Connecting our crossover to the amps, you just look for the, again, the four females here. And you can use your guide here if you want. It's high left is two, low left is three, high right four, low right five. So high left into two, low left three. High right into four and low right into five. On the other side of them, you get your two lows, so low left and low right, and they go into your subs amp, which is the second amp here. So again, they're pretty much going into, low left goes into A, low right goes into B. High left, high right, down to your tops. So high left goes into input one, and high right input two. That's pretty much everything done there. So yeah, just get a good look in at that. Okay, connecting your instruments. They'll all be left up here, all the cables you'll need for your instruments. We're connecting our DI box output to channel two on the snake. So that pretty much goes into here. Channel two and the microphone goes into channel one. So again, the male side into number one and the female side over to the microphone. Just give it one wrap around the microphone stand. Make sure everything is nice and tight on the microphone stand that it doesn't move and make sure it's at a good height for the performer. You don't have to get too close with it, maybe, yeah, something like this should be good. Paddy, or sorry, Fred, it's a great model here. Are you gonna sing for us? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the last thing we have to do is plug in the DI box, actually into the instrument. So, balanced, linked input in here, and then don't just give it to the musician to plug in. Plug it in yourself. Okay, so just into the input. 
If the guitar has a tuner on it, make sure that the tuner isn't turned on. Oh, powering on. Desk on first. So flick on the desk at the back. Over here, crossover. The crossover on, make sure it is all muted. So wait a few seconds for it to come on. So our outputs are muted, our inputs are muted, that's what you want.